I'm Tom Ria, connecting people throughout the world from my podcast studio in Brazil. Joining us today from San Diego, California, Sally Ivester, a millennial mom helping individuals navigate and ace their first corporate job. So Sally, what's the key way to manage your manager? That's a great question, Tom, and thank you so much for having me. I think it comes down to three things. The first one, you have to change your mindset. The second one, you have to think ahead. And the third one is constantly deliver value. So when I say change your mindset, what do I mean? I worked with so many people, recent grads or people who've been working for multiple years. And there's a lot of just me, me, me. Mm. I want a promotion. I want the sexy project. I want this. I want that. (laughs) But none of that sort of gives the, you know, that that sort of becomes a me, me, me type of thing versus Mm. a what kind of value do I then deliver to my manager or to the company. And so if you change your mindset of what am I doing to help my manager achieve their goals Mm. or what am I doing to help the company achieve their goals, that ultimately helps you achieve your goals. And so just by like, honestly, switching this mindset, that makes you um, more successful and it helps you just like set yourself apart from many others. So that's the first thing I would say. The second thing I would say is think ahead. Right. Like people like managers have so much on their plate. Mm -hmm. Not only are they managing you, but they're also managing other direct reports that they have. have They're managing their manager as well. Exactly. (laughs) They're managing up, they're managing across, they're managing down, they're managing everywhere. Right. Right. But if you're an individual contributor or someone just starting out, you're probably just managing across and up. Mm -hmm. But your manager has so many other dimensions that they're managing people. And then on top of that kind of stuff, they're on the hook to make sure that you deliver results. Mm -hmm. And so it really becomes a question of what can you do to think ahead about your own projects Mm -hmm. be the ceo don't wait for your manager to tell you what to do do your job really well think ahead about what's the next step not the next five steps just very simply the next step Mm -hmm. and then share that with your manager and get their perspective because when you think ahead that immediately positions you as a thought leader And it shows that you are trying to build that CEO muscle. But the second part of it is that it gives your manager a permission to then give you feedback. And so you're immediately getting their perspective and Mm -hmm. you're basically on the right path versus spending so much time trying to put together your uh, solution. And then your manager goes, wait, I wish I had the ability to give feedback (laughs) five steps ago. Well, well, you just reminded me of something. We say the next step, right? Think about the next step. Because obviously in every scenario of all major corporations, there are several steps. But we also know that every day the steps change. The the priorities change. So step number one may be that today, but it may be in four minutes and step five comes up to number one. So you have to be aware of the steps, but you do have to focus on what's on the plate. You're absolutely right. And that's, and I think you're, you're hundred percent right to like focus in on the next step, right? Because things do change every day. Like you come in with a plan and then you're like, that was not how I expected my day to go. Right? You might have like too many meetings on your calendar when you wanted to just get work done or your meetings all fell off and you can actually have work done, but things change all the time. So that's right. why don't spend time like trying to make everything perfect. Just make spend time doing the work right. and the very next step, that's all that you want to do. And I would say the third part that people constantly forget is you're here to deliver value, mm-hmm. right? Like value is going to be your currency right. in the corporate world. Value allows you to increase your leverage, which means you're constantly able to do more with what you have. And when you do more, because you either have more skills, because you're being able to bring more um, more of your special sauce to different projects, mm-hmm. more people are gonna wanna work with you. And when more people wanna work with you, that's when you increase your reputation. And right. your reputation ultimately makes you successful right. in the corporate world. And bring it's more just, bring more value, right? It's not just yeah. bring more stuff, right? It's bring more value. Yeah. Totally. And value, it's different depending on the specific part of the company you're in. Right, right. But for some, sales could be revenue. Mm-hmm. If you're in a sales organization, value comes down to how much money or how much money are you bringing in? Um, right. When it comes to things, I would say like finance, it becomes how are you cutting costs? How are you saving the company money? Right. And so you have to think about at that macro level, what is your organization really setting out to do? For marketing, right. it could be protecting the brand. And so then it becomes, how do you find value protecting the brand? And you can cut that so many different ways. But I like to talk about those North Stars because some people are like, but how do I deliver value, right? Like Sally, <laughs> tell me, like what, what's the way to do it? And to be honest, 
it all really comes down to your specific team and the nuance that you have. But if you think about the high level nuances of Mm -hmm. what are you actually in, that helps at least point you in the right direction. And you need a lot of, an olive directions today because we're talking about corporate worlds. They're global. Uh, Yeah. Corporate worlds today, let's say there's no tomorrow. It's always today somewhere. And, you're absolutely and, right. And nothing's changing. So what your manager in San Diego is saying right now has already changed uh, to another manager who might be in China. Uh, yeah. And, and you may have, he may have, and you may have several managers. Totally. You share totally. The, the sharing concept. So there's a number of plates to be juggled, but you, de- you, you know, have, have to know how to juggle them. And yeah. what's on yeah. each, each one's plate. You're absolutely right. A hundred percent right. And and that's why I think, Tom, like if you just master these three things, mm-hmm. when you get new managers, when you have global managers who don't just sit next to you, right. like Tom, you're in Brazil, I'm in California right now. We don't have the luxury of sitting next to one another where I can be like, Tom, what do you think, you know, for two minutes, right. like this becomes even more important because we have this physical distance. Right. So if, if you're able to like change your mindset, think ahead. So you basically make your manager's life a little bit right. easier. But again, what you do, you help people do that. You help people change their mindset to, you know, open up to the world. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. So how can our listeners find you and what can they get from finding you? Yeah, that's a great question. So you can find me at HiSallyIvester.com. So it's H-I, Sally, S-A-L-L-Y, Ivester, I is in Illinois, V is in Victor, mm-hmm. E is in Edward, S is in Sam, T is in Tom, E is in Edward, R is in Richard.com. Um, and what I honestly, what I'm setting, setting out to do is I just want to help individual contributors of all mm-hmm. levels learn the corporate game so that they can be more successful. I come from a background where I come from immigrant parents. I got into an Ivy League school. I got a great job out of college. And I thought I was set, Tom. I was like, yes, like I'm ready to go. And then turns out I had no idea what to do in the corporate world Mm -hmm. because you pay for this fancy education and you don't know what it's like to put together a one-on-one agenda doc with your manager or how to honestly, how to take feedback, right? And when Mm -hmm. you're in the corporate world, Feedback comes at you left and right and in every single direction (laughs) and you you can't avoid it. And it gets Uh, even worse as you like progress in your career. And there are things I just didn't know. And so my goal is like, how do I share back? Mm -hmm. Not just for me, but like my more successful friends of how they've been able to rise up through the ranks and honestly ungatekeep that, right? Like no more gatekeeping. How do we just make this kind of information more known? Because once you know it, that allows you to at least know, how the corporate world works. Yeah, well, and knowing how it works and to the point, your point of helping manage your manager helps you become the manager in the future. Totally. And, totally. And, and learning how to be a manager comes from how do you manage managers and how Absolutely. you're able to juggle. So, so really you can offer that not just real life experiences, but training and basically Absolutely. help people for their own onboarding in their corporate life. Uh, you got it. So what you'll see on the website is I have my signature course, which is a four week cohort, mm-hmm. but I'm also, ha- I have a newsletter. It's that's free. I also have some free resources for you. If you're curious, I have a free career starter pack checklist. Mm-hmm. So basically what you should do when you're entering your new job and to ha- help set you up for success within the first few right. weeks. These that's are probably the biggest, things- the best thing you can do is yeah. hear and learn that before you even open the door on the first day. Absolutely. Because as soon as yeah, you step yeah. in the first day, it's a whole different ball game. You're absolutely and, right. And it, and it depends on the corporation. So it's not the same everywhere. Yeah, you're right. It, it, but you know what? The best thing is that these are the types of skills that right. are going to be applicable no matter where you go. That's true. Right? Like, um, the changing your mindset as an example. It's not just it's not just in this particular job or with this particular manager. Right. I think it's going to be in many different types of professional fields. And quite honestly, Tom, even like in your personal relationships sure. um, and all of that kind of stuff. And so um, <laughs> I think these are quite foundational and can be applicable. And of course, there are going to be areas where you might increase the lever on mm-hmm. particular topics um, and you might ignore some topics, but these are all sort of the skills that you need in order for you to, I think, get to that next level and be successful in this corporate job. Very good. Well, Sally, thanks for being here and sharing. Thank you, Tom, for the opportunity. This was so fun. I love this format and I can't wait to do this again. Very good. Okay. And to our listeners again, it's Sally Ivester. It's I-V-E-S-T-E-R. Sally is S-A-L-L-Y. 
Find her at her site, HiSallyIvester.com. You also find her on LinkedIn and TikTok. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information at FOCUSMI.com. Talk to Tom, talk to the world. Thanks for listening to Cafe Networking. Promote successful business experts. (music) 